Okay, this sermon's entitled, Would a Real Testimony Please Stand Up? Let me open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for giving us um, a biblical truth that uh, that stands alone, and pray that you keep us safe and allow us to go by what your word says and nothing else. Keep us safe and bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, the reason I'm preaching this sermon is because I hear a lot of garbage, you know, coming out of the mouths of people when they give their testimony. <clears throat> you hardly ever hear anything biblical. You know, I was listening to the radio. I heard I heard it said that some, some person gave their life to Christ. That's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible does not teach that. The Bible teaches that Jesus Christ gave his life for us. So let's open up with Hebrews chapter 5, and let's just read, let's see what it says here. It says, For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Who can have compassion on the ignorant, and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity? Now it's talking about Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how bad a person is. It doesn't matter how out of the way they are. God, Jesus Christ has compassion towards them. And by reason hereof he ought, as for the people, so also for himself, to offer for sins. And no man taketh this honor unto himself. Now, pause right there. When, when I hear testimonies, it seems like people are trying to take credit. They're trying to take honor from their self. Well, I repented of my sins. That's not salvation. That's man boasting. And that's why it says, And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. Now, who, who is this talking about? Jesus Christ. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son. Anyone who's saved is a son of God. Now look what it says. Today have I begotten thee. That gives God all the credit. You know, you must be born again. It's God who gives you the eternal life. It's God who saves you. It's God who gives you this new birth. And it happens at a moment. It's an instantaneous thing. It's not progressive. Now these testimonies I hear would be, would be a progressive testimony. You know, I, you know I, I repented of all my sins. I remember hearing this one guy say the hardest part about his salvation was, was him repenting of his sins. Now look at who's getting the credit there. <clears throat> He's getting the credit. See, it's, it's ridiculous what you hear people say. I heard this one guy say, there's no forgiveness of sin unless you forsake your sins. Then why do you need forgiveness if you could forsake your own sin? And why did Christ have to die if you could just forsake your own sin? It's foolish. These people are fools given their false testimonies. You know, the truth is, Jesus Christ died for your sins. He was buried. He rose again. He paid it all. Eternal life is a free gift. And um, it, it, it's just believe. You know, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. But, you know, it's over and over again do we see this. So why don't we, why doesn't somebody give a real testimony? They came to Christ as a helpless sinner. And they, they uh, received eternal life by the grace of God. Through faith alone in Christ alone. But you don't hardly ever hear that. You hear all this other stuff. <clears throat> it's hard to find a decent testimony. Let's turn over to Second uh, Second Timothy. You know, we're not supposed to be ashamed of, of these type of, 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 the, of the testimony of the Scripture. Verse eight, chapter one: Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. So, a biblical testimony would be. Jesus Christ paid it all, and He saved me by His grace. You know, and you know, and then believe. I just believed. I believed on Him, and then He saved me. But you don't hardly ever hear that. You hear all the time. You hear, you know, what we did. Look what I did. And you know, believing is not of any. Of, 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 believing is of no merit, because everybody's believing something. You know, even if you're not, even if you're not saved, you're still believing in something. You're believing in atheism or, or evolution or whatever or you're believing another faith or whatever. So there's no merit in believing. The only merit is in what is in Jesus Christ and what he did. So yes, I'm, I'm sick of hearing all the false testimonies. Every, people have got it backwards. You didn't give your life to Christ. He gave his life for you. It's found all over the scripture. I am not, let's just turn one verse that, that, that talks about that, and then I'll close. <clears throat> Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 
repeat, Jesus died so that we could live. And that's biblical testimony. You know? That's all I have. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word and thank you for allowing us to just see right through all these phony, baloney testimonies out there where God, you're not getting any credit at all because people are trying to take the credit for themselves and then they call that a testimony. No, that's demonic. And that's all that is. Keep us safe and bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <clears throat>